Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi! And we're just looking for ways to feature the Bixler in all of our episodes. He's a little better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put landing gear on this guy. Why would we put a landing gear on this guy? Because we can. We've chopped off the nose mm -hmm. because you know we bashed it so many times. We're like, you know what? We've we've broken the nose and, and crippled it so much. Time to make it FPV. So we start hacking it up and, and putting transmitters and, and everything in it. Right. But no one likes to launch an FPV plane and then go back and put their goggles on. They want to take it off and have the from experience the of it from the ground. That's right. And, and you know what? Or your roof. Or the roof. Or off a car. You guys have a ton of different mods. I know the Easy Star has even kits you can buy for landing gears. Yeah. But you know what? This thing is so hacked up and everything. Might as well give it a really creative way to put a landing gear on. Right. That can be put on or removed pretty easily. Absolutely. All right. So what are we gonna do? Uh, well, we should probably start with the frame of it, right? Frame of it would be good. Okay. Absolutely. Now, one thing we we have different methods of installing landing gears. Uh, the EPP FPV was internally braced. This is gonna be internally braced, but external landing gear, zip tied, okay. kind of like how we do with our swappable series where we like the split blender especially, we're gonna pretty much just copy that method. Okay. All right? All right. So let's go move this out of the way and we'll okay. go and start a landing gear. Sure. Take some two millimeter landing gear wire or spring wire. We're gonna cut, I'm gonna do this in centimeters. Oh no, we don't wanna use these. Chad does not like it when we cut metal with his electronic side cuts. Chad just went upstairs. He goes crazy. He's not even down here. He will beat me to a pulp. He wouldn't know. Don't use Chad's side cuts. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go to 40 centimeters right there. You sure? Right there, yes. Okay. Uh, I'm almost positive. Mm. I'm like, you want to hold that in? Yeah. So it doesn't impale me in the abdomen? That would be Absolutely. awkward. Absolutely. All right. We're going to want to bend it in the middle. So half of 40 is what? Uh, I'm going to say about 20. About 20. There we go. We got our 20. You sure? No. Look at that. We bent it in the middle. Now, we want our width to roughly match the width of the fuselage here. So why don't you go ahead and grab that? There you go. And pop off that canopy. Canopies. Canopies. Okay. Lay this down. So we just want the nice thing about this wire landing gear is you can actually just, you know, bend it to size, but we, that's roughly what we want right there. Feel good? Seem good? Life is good? Feels seems good. Life is great. Life is really good. Okay. We like that too. YOLO. And after we got our V, it's a nice V. It's perfect. It's a beautiful V. We're going to go to eight centimeters. And if you guys don't have a cutting board like this, I highly recommend you getting one because just the, the grids and, and using the grids and metrics and centimeters. It's very helpful. Very useful. With this flat on the building board, we're gonna bend these up 90 degrees. All right. And like I said, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we can always tweak it out later. Okay. Here's our eight centimeters again. Now, no one wants a landing gear like this. That's just, no. that's just weird. That is funky. So we're gonna actually start spreading this out. Now what we want to do is want to keep this at 90 degrees okay. and we're actually going to sweep it forward a little bit but not quite yet. All right. And we'll use this grid to make sure that we have an even bend. And also as we're twisting this out we're going to make sure this doesn't move this way. Okay. All right so we'll keep on working there. And once we're happy with this, yeah that, that's just not, that's, no, that's terrible. Ugly. Uh, horrible. Oh, gosh. So, Get that out of my face. So now we're actually going to just keep working it. There we go a little bit out more. Work it, work it. Work it, work it. All right. I like that. Looks that works good. good. Okay. Now I believe it's nine centimeters right there. All That's right. how long we're going to have our landing legs. All right. And you guys can vary this however you want. But or this wheel is pants. Wheel pants? Put wheel pants on it? We could. That'd be kind of cool. I just wanted to say wheel pants. All right. Now lay it flat on your building board again. You don't want toe in, toe out, or alignment issues. Weezer. Weezer? It's the Weezer logo. All right, let's go. What's Weezer? All right, so it's an airplane, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so we're gonna keep on bending this. We're gonna wanna make sure also our landing gear lanes, so our axles are in line with each other. Okay. Almost there. So we have the rough shape of our landing gear all figured out here, okay? There we go. And if you guys have watched any of the swappable series, yeah. the blender is virtually that landing gear right there. Oh, very, right. very close. Okay. okay, and so we're using the exact same technique. We want to do as much as possible with as few steps as possible. And also, we don't want to put a lot of holes in our beautiful Bixler here. That's seen better days. Alright. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to actually zip tie this from the outside 
into the inside. Okay. Okay. Just but we, loop it through. Yeah, but we can't zip tie on foam, right? Yeah, because it'll tear through, right? That would be bad. It can yeah. tear right through. So we need popsicle sticks, don't we? Oh, yummy. Popsicle sticks and bamboo skewers are our best friends. And for this, because the popsicle sticks are a little bit wider, mm -hmm. I think they'll be a better application. So I think yeah. we got a couple over there in that little strip. Really more bamboo for the pandas. Exactly. There we go. I like that right there. What we're going to want to do, we're going to want to make some reference holes okay. right around here. First, we need to put some internal bracing in, don't we? Right. All right, so the first one's going to slide right through here. Okay. And then right out the other end. Just like that. Okay. All right. That's going to be what the zip tie is going to hold on to. So theoretically, if this thing wants to rip out, it has to take the whole entire zip the tie to this it. bottom. Yeah. And, and truthfully, this thing's been so mangled. Yeah. It possibly could, but I don't think there'd be much left of the airplane anyway right. afterwards. So we got our one popsicle stick through. Okay. This one we want to go internally, so we only want to go the width of the inside of the fuselage, right. which is only about an inch back there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and cut this guy off. Did I scare you? Pieces were flying. They were. All right, now, if you guys don't have an assortment of zip ties, get them, because they're awesome. We're gonna fish this down in here. Now, luckily, I have a little lightning hole in the back here. I can actually stick my hand through and get this. If you guys out there, uh, hemostats are awesome for this kind of step. You ever heard of hemostats? Helium what? I think they use them on ER. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Stat. Hemostats. Coming up. Look, hemostats. What the hey? Now say say you cut yourself in the leg and you had an artery that was bleeding out. I could use these to save your life. That's more terrifying than dying. If you wanted to use hemostats, <laughs> you can reach down in here and grab this, push it through like that. Here. Just like a surgeon. Excellent work, Doctor. Oh, thank you. Uh, where's our little one inch piece? There you go. Perfect. We'll use hemostats. Heliostat. I think we should get a nickel for every time we say hemostats. Helium. Stat. This man's voice is too low. Let's get some helium. Stat. Pull this down. Ooh, buddy. You made a funny noise. It did. All right. Now, landing gear. Sit there. Pull the extremely long zip tie. Zip tie. Zip tie. Once again, it makes funny noises. There we go. Okay. So we got the back end. Time to do the front. All right. Let's make a loop, slide around the landing gear, uh -huh. and we'll cinch it up. There's those funny sounds you like so I much. I love those funny sounds, man. All right, last one. You want to do the last one? Uh, man, I would. It's intense. Thrill. Loop around like so. Loop it around like so. Here, Let me stay well Here, let me, let me make it so people can see what you're doing there. There you go. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, that was it. Eye. Was that your eye? Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Get around that little guy. It's kind of an awkward angle. Really awkward angle, isn't it? <laughs> he just said that, didn't he? <laughs> I like All that. Right. I like that. That's on there really good. Okay. All right, why don't you go ahead and cut it off? with the blue handle things. Oh, am I allowed to use these now? Yeah, don't ever use Chad side cuts on anything but zip ties. Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, right. it's okay. Chad, is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. You have clearance. There you go. Oh, pull that one a little bit. Yeah, that's good. You sure? Yeah, okay. okay. I've accepted it. Beautiful. We have a landing gear. Legs. Landing gear legs. And they're durable too, look at that. And the nice thing about this is this is gonna take the shock load off of the foam and put it on the popsicle stick, which we'll be able to handle all day. Because popsicle sticks, oh, those are. They're cool. awesome, they're awesome, but we're missing something. They build houses out of those. Little houses. We're missing wheels. Little people, we're missing wheels. And you know what, we've gone cheap so far, why, why stop now, Why right? stop now? Yeah, I mean, everyone drinks water, right? Right. And everyone has pool battles. And everybody has a swimming pool, right? Absolutely Wrong. not. But these are pretty cheap. They're very cheap, especially when it's the end of the season and they're at special at Dollar Tree. Yeah. So what we did was we went ahead and we cut a couple slithers off of there. And uh, these are the outer part of the wheels. This would be like the uh, inflated rubber part. And then for the inside, the top is a water here. bottle. Made out of Fits cheap. really nice. Just like that. Just put together, just like that. 
All right, so we need to drill holes right in the center though. We do, we do need to drill holes right in the center. So we need to glue it on the wheels, right? Right. Go ahead and just carefully put it around the perimeter. Okay. And then you wanna wait for it to cool down. Yeah, cause hot glue that's really hot doesn't like- This foam. That foam. And Chad's hot glue gun is crazy hot. I mean, it'll catch things on fire and stuff. It's so hot. Crazy hot. Why don't we drill the holes first? Huh? It's easier to drill them afterwards. Is it? Now my hands are all dirty. Oh gosh. That's okay. Let's do the second one. Okay. Perfect. Just like that. Let right. the glue dry, you're good to go. All right. Here's your drill. Perfect. Now you want to uh, do one side at a time. Yes. To make sure that uh, you get center on both sides. And oftentimes there's a little tiny mold line, a little, little. Like a little, nobody wants to say it, but a little oh. nipple. <laughs> it's a little so, plastic mold. Middle. Protrusion. <laughs> It might gonna, be worse. We're gonna put, if, if it exists, we're gonna put it on that mark and we're not gonna try to go from one end to the other. So here we go. Now there's no uh, middle poppy up thing here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go down the center. Only go through the first layer, just like that. Then flip it over. Find go the, directly into your finger. No, don't do that. Find the middle, just like that. Because if you try to go through both ends, you're gonna get crooked and then your wheels are gonna wah, 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 wah. Do what? Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. All over the place. Okay. So. So there's your wheels. Beautiful, aren't they? Let's put them Not on. really. I think they're but nice. They're cool. And they're cheap. If, if you drink water and you have pool battles, you have everything you need. If you drink water and, and you swim imagine, in the water. Imagine, these pool noodles are like a buck. Imagine how many wheels you could make out of these. Yeah. And Chad wants us to hurry up. Yeah, go faster. All right, let's do that. Okay. Let's put the wheels on. Just put them on there. Just put them on. <laughs> we hold them on with wheel collars. I don't have wheel collars. But we do have zip ties. Again? They sponsor us. That's not true. No, it's not. But boy, wouldn't it be great if they did? I don't know. I can't imagine how much money they pull in every year. Well, I bet you there's a high profit margin on these zip ties. You put the... Psych! Sorry, I put stuff back where I got it. Ah, oh, that's okay. I'm holding it against you. There's one. All right, we're gonna take the zip tie because we don't have wheel collars or we're incredibly cheap. Don't want people to think we bust out the money for them. Just like that. Okay. Now, if you really want to keep them on permanently, just put a little drop of hot glue on the outside of it. Don't just, melt your foam. Don't melt your foam. Just put it right on the wheel collar or the zip tie. Zip tie. Now, we need to stress test this, don't we? Bouncy, bouncy. We should probably put the uh, put a battery in it. Yep. Put a canopy on it, maybe even put a GoPro inside. I think it needs to have all the weight. This is two millimeter wire. If you guys wanna go a little bit heavier, that's all fine and dandy. But two millimeter wire is nice and light, should do the job. Where's our GoPro? Uh, here you go. All right, let's do a Bixler landing. I like it. It is bouncy. It is bouncy. It'll okay. work good. All right, well you guys uh, wanted to know how you could put landing gear on the Bixler. And this is one of many ways, probably one, way. one of the cheapest ways. Yeah, so if you guys come up with another way, make an article on the website. And we'll rate it, and That's we'll right. probably rate higher than this one. But maybe it's a good affordable way to uh, get your FPV Bixler or stock Bixler blown in the landing gear. Nice. With minimal parts, and uh, hopefully it won't tear up your fuselage too much. There we go. Thank All you. right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Stonecat Productions for sponsoring this episode. And go to the website, flighttest.com, and Chat you might on the see forums. some cool ideas for more Bixler landing gear. You got it. All right, see you guys next time. Next time. Let's go take this out. What do you think? Wait, oh, you going to try it for real? Yeah, seriously.